What's up everyone, this is The Raw Truth coming back with part 2. I want to get into more details. Then we have the black girls who the mother actually like, you know, actually like, you know, and before I get to that, I want to speak more of the torturing too. That um, black girls are going through too. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, escape one of the main thing because one of the main torture that uh, little black girls go through is because their mothers are worn out. Like I said, stretch marks every fucking wear and stuff, and their mothers is jealous because their little girls is actually look a lot better than them, and a lot of little girls have their natural hair and shit like that, and a lot of and a lot of black women, well, some black women, uh, torture their little daughters. And sometimes them torturing, well, all the times when their da- when they torture their daughters, their daughters grow up and have insecurities, and they need validation from somewhere. Because keep in mind, again, I said 74% of homes are fatherless due to the, the same black woman. The vast majority of them. And these girls, and they could be look like a dime, like crazy. They could look so sexy and so beautiful and stuff. End up with bad guys, and you like, how can she, someone like her, end up with bad guys? Because in her heart or in her spirit, she's so broken and so destroyed that she ended up with bad guys because bad was in her. No self-esteem. No confidence, no nothing. She's just a beautiful woman filled with bad things in her, filled with the torture, the hurt, and pain. And she went after a guy who matched the same as her because it's like they said, the misery love companies. Well, guess what? When a woman, regardless of how fine she is, is miserable, she's going to go after a man that is miserable. So some 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 black girls who grew up to be black women go after bad guys because the mother has made them feel like shit. So they go after men who aren't shit, who 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 are who are shit, who are a piece of shit, who are no fucking good at all because they feel the same way. What else? Like I said, uh, started off as some black women may actually love their daughters. You know, and they see that they thought they, you know, I can mold my daughter to be a strong, independent black woman. And so she will encourage her daughter to be career minded and stuff. You know, encourage her, her daughter to do super well in school and uh, and teach her daughter that you no know, just go to school and learn and learn and learn and learn. You know, and fight for her daughter. And you thinking that, you no, know, she's a good mother in doing that. Now, I'm not knocking um, black women who encourage their daughter to go to college. But majority of times, the incentive or the reason why their mother want their daughters to go to college, you know, there is a hidden agenda. And the hit, it's the hidden agenda may be terrible because what that black girl is learning is she is has to be validated there that word it goes again that v word validated by a paper called a diploma diploma validated by a paper called a degree so when when these college when these women who graduate from college is looking at you brothers and they say well you don't have a degree if you don't have a degree you can't be with me why? Because she's been taught that by her own mother. Can't you see? Can't you see what, what the fuck is going on? She's been taught that by her mother. She has to have a degree to be a woman. She has to have a degree to be validated. You what? You don't have no degree? Well, then you ain't nothing. Oh, why? Because she has made that paper better than you. That paper is better than you. Even though that paper can catch fire, but that paper, that degree, is better than you. So she's been trained like that. 
Can't you understand what, why I, I had to feel compelled to, to say that? And this a, it, to do this series because it's a sad fucking thing what's going on in our community. And, and the fact that black women are getting angry, they're getting angry because they're finally, finally being exposed of their part of the of our destruction and our community and they can't stand it <clears throat> so let's get some reviews going on black little girls seen black little boys get told to shut the fuck up and stop crying so the black little girls understood understood from childhood that a black man is not supposed to have any feelings that they supposed to take whatever they can regardless of how much it hurts from the black woman called mother soon will be them and they have to accept it because if they cry they are considered weak they also was taught to be over sexualized to be um, the, the, that their that their power lies with their pussy and their butts they could dance a certain way and be seductive. They could pull any men and get what the fuck they want. And they learn this shit before they learn how to piss and shit without a pipe, uh, without a diaper. Number two, they learn how to be, uh, they, uh, they learn even though they still in ignorance how to be a mother through the torture of their mothers. Because their mothers didn't want to be mothers, so they forced babysitting on the little on the little girls. And the in the midst of the little girls babysitting, she's learned to talk to her brothers any kind of way and yell at them because she's being yelled at and disciplined if she does a bad job. So therefore, she will have no 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 choice whatsoever in growing up to believe that she can yell at you and have no repercussion and have no feelings because that's what the she was trained for when when she was growing up and you also have because she looks so good and looks so great as a young as a young little girl that she is that the mother is jealous because the mother wished that she looked as young and looked as pure because every time she look at her daughter she sees a failure why because her daughter is pure so in order for her to feel good about herself she got to put her own fucking daughter down she has to disrespect her daughter she have to talk about her daughter talk shit on her daughter to so she can feel good about herself because she realizes that her daughter has options and she doesn't have options so therefore because her daughter has been put down so much and felt like shit just the same way as her own fucking screwed up damn whore mother felt now she's out there attracting bad boys because she has been labeled a bad girl and understand something names do hurt I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. If you're going to run run at me with that bullshit that names don't hurt, then why the fuck do people call people names anyway? Why did why is it that it's so so easy for black women to say uh could say oh you're jealous or you're just lame you're this and you're that because they know names do hurt. And when you don't deal with them names, them names are an assignment. And when you don't deal with them names and have, like I always say, when you don't deal with them names, those names will take root in your life and you become those same names as people called you because you didn't speak against it by letting them know, no, I am not this person. I am this person. That's why I argue with dumb motherfuckers on YouTube. When they try to call me names and try to call me out of my name, I'll speak against them by telling them who they really are and why they saying the shit that they say and I've delivered a smackdown beating on a candy asses cuz when you don't deal with the shit when you don't deal with problems and you don't deal with the names being called to you you wind up it takes root in you understand something please fucking listen it takes root in you and if you don't deal with it it would it would it's like a possession a, a pos being uh, uh, being possessed and you want to becoming what people say. That's why people say, "Well, I knew you was going to be this way." Because remember, I always told you, "Yeah, you are." That person always told you you was going to be that way, but you never dealt with it by speaking against it. Because you didn't deal with it by speaking against that bullshit, you became shit.
And that's bull. <laughs> so black little girls have learned that. Or, or, or and, 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 and also review, remember what I said. Black little girls, black little girls are taught what? To be educated. That way they could be validated by a degree. Validated by a diploma, validated by a bachelor or associate degree, and as long as they have that paper, they feel that they are better than you if because you don't have that paper. And who is the ones giving this paper out? Who was the one giving this degree out? More likely the white man. So, so by the white man giving her this degree, and the white man. Giving her this diploma, degree, associate bachelor's degree, and everything like that. Now it's psychologically teaching her that it's the white man who validates her. Why? Be, uh, why? Let, brothers, understand something. And some of you black women listening, understand something. How? Why does this connect? <laughs> because of 74% of homes are fatherless. Who's taking care of our women? Uh-oh. Uh oh, we getting it now. Who's giving our woman Section Eight? Who's giving her lie heat? Who's giving her the cat program? Who's giving her the EBT cards? Who's giving her all this shit? Who's giving her student loans? I mean, grants and all of that money to go to school. Who's giving her all of this shit? Who's giving her these government jobs, even though majority of them don't qualify, but they get it anyway? Who's giving it? Who's giving all this shit to them? The white man. So psychologically, it's 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 embedded in the girl who grew up to be a warm, young woman and, and woman who gets these degrees when that paper, that degree is handed to them, is more likely going to be handed to them by a white man. So it's embedded in a fucking mind that the white man validate you so that also psychologically tell her that black man cannot validate her so therefore it's a stigma in her it grows in her and lets her that's why uh, they don't respect us because they have it's a psychological game warfare that's going on in their mind because they believe as soon as they get that paper from the white man there ain't shit you can do black woman for her there's nothing you could do for her because the white man does it all. Understand, there's always a breakdown and always a new discovery and shit like that that's happening that we really got to address. <clears throat> because these mothers, these black women who are single mothers, when they get their business and sh businesses and shit, they go to the white media and they brag of how independent and strong that they are. And who do they brag to? Yep, you got it. <clears throat> the white man. <laughs> Can't you see? So it's all about understanding the lessons that uh, these little girls are going through. So when they get that degree... They think they're finally a woman because that degree makes them a woman when that degree only means that you have an expertise in that fucking field that you study for. That degree has absolutely nothing to deal with being a man and being a woman. It has absolutely nothing to do with being a husband and being a wife it has absolutely nothing to do with more um, uh, having morals and having account accountability and responsibility it has well it has a little bit of that because you're responsible of studying but as far as being morals of, uh, uh, of leading up to being a lady and being a gentleman no it has absolutely nothing to be with that <clears throat> So only thing <clears throat> that degree does is it tells that black woman that she's better than you. And she think that degree is a fucking standard. So what's she going to judge you brothers by? You, you should have the same thing as her.
That's why when they say I, I need a man on my level I have a problem with that statement First of all what level are you talking about Are you talking about degrees Okay let's talk about that Okay degree, the degree means that you're expertise in that Do you really need a degree to be an expert in some things I have no degree it's funny, I have no degree and I battle a lot of people with degrees and prove them wrong all the time. Especially with people who have degree in history. I asked them what is what was United States of America called before it was called America. People with degrees in history don't know this shit. Then then they are amazed when I break down what this land was called, who actually owned this land and everything. They get amazed. Why? Because I study See, I don't need a fucking degree in history to know history. I don't need a fucking degree in a lot of things that black women get a fucking degree in to actually be in that field. I don't have a degree in criminal justice, but I could break some shit down. I don't have a degree in, um, in history, but I have confounded a lot of people who have degrees. So if you're, if you're going to hold a man as a standard of having a degree, then black woman you're sadly mistaken because even now folks is finding out their own professors and they have the associates and bachelors and all of that have lied to them about history so but as long as they can put it in the black woman's mind that you have to have a degree and black mothers are doing it have to have a degree to validate them it's the same as saying you have to have the white man give you a paper to validate you so therefore the black man you ain't shit to them that's why they always say, the black woman, we have more degrees than black men. We have more of this than black men. Is in other words, I translate that because we have more degrees than black men, that means black men ain't shit. When that's not the case. That's not the case at all. It can never be the, uh, it can never be the case. Because if the black man ain't shit, then why the fuck everybody, we're the most Im imitated guy on the whole damn planet. But come back with part two. I'll be right back. Peace.